Um, and I'm going to be introing up to speak on this is Jackie Mattia from Our Own Mobile Inc. and Woo! Suzanne Uman from City. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a great Think Summit so far. Welcome to Unlocking Card Potential. We're joined today with City to explore the path that they're on to delivering personalized customer engagement. I'm Jackie Mattia, Strategy VP for the Financial Services Vertical, and I'm so excited to be up here with Suzanne Uman, Head of Spend Engagement Marketing at City. Suzanne, we're thrilled to have you and to have City on stage for the very first time. And so to kick it off, tell us a little bit about your role at City, a little bit about your background. Yeah, so Jackie, uh, I am so happy to be here, first of all. I remember sitting in the audience at last year's Think Summit, really being inspired by all the great talks and the panels, and so just so excited that I get this opportunity to be on stage with you. Um, so I am part of US Cards Marketing, and I head up our existing customer spend engagement strategies. And I really love this space, right? Because what we get to do is we get to examine customer behavior, you know, try to figure out as best as we can what it is that they want, and then essentially package together all of the benefits and all of the offers in a compelling way to the customer so that essentially our goal is that there are customers for life. Yeah, and Suzanne, uh, fun fact, Suzanne and I actually worked together at City on some of these same programs, so this is really a full circle moment um, for me to be up here with you. Um, and we're gonna be talking all about um, credit card spend today. So I'll kick it off by saying, what's the best purchase you've made recently on one of your City cards? Yeah, so um, I actually splurged recently on the Easy Plant collection. Do you guys know, have you heard of the Easy Plant Collection? Okay, so <laughs> they are these self-watering plants, right? Right, right? And they are for folks that have difficulty, right, keeping plants healthy and, you know, alive, basically. And so I'll let you know next year if the, the plants in question are, are still okay. But, you know, plants are so expensive, actually. I was pretty surprised, and I got a whole collection of them. Um, but I will say, and here's a little bit of a plug for City. Um, you know, while it was a splurge, I was able to use one of our accelerators that my team actually is in charge of running one of those strategies. And so it's really like, it helped, right, with the guilt. It was a splurge, <laughs> but I'm getting rewards back, so why not? So the guilt for killing the plants or for No, spending. not yet. They're okay. Um, They're okay. They're so okay. I'm here with you. <laughs> um, so Suzanne, what are the main goals that you and your team are driving through your marketing programs? Yeah. So overall, as the name spend engagement implies, right, our strategy center around keeping our customers active, engaged, and purchasing, right? And so Essentially, what we want to do is provide enough value to them, right, that, so that we are the choice that they pick out of their wallet, right, for their purchasing journeys. So we do that with five key strategies. Um, we've got our win back strategies, and these are strategies for our lower engaged customers. So they include things like spend and get, promotional APRs for a fixed period of time, and conversions to another product that might better suit their needs. Um, and of course, like everyone else, right, we're also um, optimizing for the marketing solution, right, that we all face, which is essentially how do we prove out that we're generating a lift in revenue and sales within a set budget, right? But, but we're all sort of doing that. Um, you know, recently, I think what we've been really focused on is, you know, how do we balance all the, vo the volume, right, of the marketing messages that we send out with the value in those messages, right? So customers are so inundated, we, we know this, right? They're so inundated with marketing messages, right? So how do we cut through all of that clutter 
and resonate with our customers. Well, I think that's a perfect segue because one of the things you're uh, making sure you do in your marketing is really meeting the core um, customer needs. So you've been in credit card marketing for several years. What do you think today's customer wants from their credit card, and how has that changed maybe in the past few years? Yeah. So I think customer loyalty is garnered by three key things. And look, this is not groundbreaking by any means. We kind of all know this, but I just, I really feel like it's accurate, right? So the first thing is know me. The second thing is acknowledge me. And the third thing is make it easy for me, right? So from a, for, for the first one, for the know me, right? Customers expect deeply personalized and custom tailored service, right? So big brother feelings aside, our customers actually demand that we know what they want, right? And even know what they don't know they want, right? Uh, and so if we show them that we're not tuned in, then we lose their attention in the short term and we lose their loyalty in the long term. Recognize me. So for today's customers, it's now table stakes, right? To be able to earn meaningful rewards and benefits simply by making everyday purchases with your card. So in fact, in a recent Forbes survey, 33% of the responders said that they actually selected their credit card based on the rewards earn potential. So I feel like it's less about the base value prop and the rates these days. It's pretty competitive, right? So in the no fee based space, we're all, we're all pretty much offering kind of the same thing. Um, and in the fee based space, right, for cards, the rewards actually, um, the fees actually vary based on the rewards and benefits that the issuers are able to curate for their customers. So that's actually the differentiator. Uh, third one, make it easy for me. So this one's just a natural byproduct of world digitalization, right? Customers demand that their experience feels easy and frictionless. Um, so this includes being served in the channel of their choice, right, and having issuers connect seamlessly into their own purchasing journey. So what role do digital personalization and tools like Movable Link play in meeting each of those needs? Yeah, so I mean, this is why we engaged with Movable Inc., right? It was to answer the question of how we can create an experience that felt custom, right, to our, to our customer base. And what was really important was also being able to do so at a, on scale, right? So we have 26 million uh, marketing eligible customers, right? And so being able to do that, right, in a way that is error free, right, in a consistent manner is especially important, especially in the financial industry, which is so heavily regulated. And so, you know, I think we've just scratched the surface in terms of being able to leverage uh, all of the great tools and the dynamic capabilities that you guys have. Um, so we've got actually a really long test and learn agenda as my team can attest to. Um, so you know, really it's only, I think our team's capacity at any given moment in time, they have to rein me in sometimes, but that's really the only thing that's stopping us from from using all of these great use cases. You've well, we're really excited about yeah. the roadmap together. Um, let's dive into some of the programs that your team is actually working on that deliver on those consumer needs and talk a little bit about personalization within each. Yes, so this is a great program to start with. Where's Bonnie? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there you are. Uh, so this was actually the first cards program to leverage Movable Inc. Uh, we started as a pilot with uh, 9 million customers, and now we basically rolled it out to almost our entire card member base. So with Merchant Offers, we've partnered with MasterCard uh, to provide to our customers discounts on, merchant, uh, on merchants where they've spent before or on similar merchants where they've spent before. Um, and so there's a recency play here that's really important in that we're not basing these offers on purchasing choices made long ago. Right, so we use Movable Inc. to serve up these offers to the customers um, so that you know, every, every time they open their email, essentially, and you've heard it in, in prior talks before this, I think it's just so cool, right? The message is always different every time that customer opens it and it's fully tailored to their uh, needs. 
Well, it's been great to see the success of this initial launch, and one of the things everybody's gonna hear a lot about today is about reusing data sources across multiple programs, and Merchant Offers is such a great example of that. So how have you reused uh, content and data within this program? Yeah, so this really is the capability that keeps giving, uh, because right now we're experimenting, uh, we, actually, we, we are not experimenting, we did this in April, um, <laughs> with using this exact uh, same personalization. So using the same data and the same template to essentially branch out and create multiple customer messages, right? So examples of that are packaging together the same offers, but putting a seasonal wrap around it, right? Or by spend category, or even serving them up as local offers. Yeah, I think that really keeps the variety for the customer, but using a single API data source, so really being efficient. Well, Merchant Offers isn't the only program where you're delivering value to the customer through real-time personalized offers. Tell us a bit about City's sales growth program. Yeah, so super proud of our sales growth real-time tr triggers. So they were a beast, right, guys, to get into production. Um, but you know, they're probably our very best example of serving hyper-personalized and relevant offers to our customers. So based on where a customer just made a purchase transaction, we're able to predict what that customer will spend on next, right, within certain categories. And then we can set, serve them a spend and get offer in that category, real time. So our response rates for this program are two and a half times versus our BAU program. So obviously personalization does work. Uh, and I also love you know, a bit of the magic that I hope the customer feels when they're like, hmm, I was just about to make this purchase. And here I get this offer for that purchase, so. Yeah, you're predicting in real time what they need. Um, but in addition to returning value to the customer through offers, you're also recognizing the customer with a really amazing set of rewards and benefits, and your marketing is key to delivering transparency as well as education um, on rewards. So talk to us a bit about Thank You Rewards. Yeah, so uh, Thank You Rewards is our points loyalty platform at City. And so this is where really that driver of loyalty comes into play, right? Acknowledging and thanking our customers because they have chosen our card out of their wallet for their purchasing uh, journey. So we're actually in the midst of a bit of a rebranding, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but I can tell you that you know, what we're really looking to do is to create that emotional connection to our loyalty platform, where basically we're saying you know, everyday purchases can lead to bigger and better things. And actually, so what's on the, the board here is our quarterly uh, point summary. So um, one of the first things that we do want to revamp, right, Chris, is our quarterly point summary. <laughs> um, so we're working on that with Movable Inc. Um, and really trying to reimagine what this customer moment could look like. Because it's actually one of those emails that has the highest level of engagements already, right? And so what better place than here to showcase our love for our customer, right? So we're working through some interesting visualizations um, of their points, of the customer's points earned, but also thinking that this might be the place to deliver other elements of personalization, like showing gift cards based on preferred retailers, or showing them what their points could actually get them, like really articulating what that is, or perhaps even infusing uh, gamification into it, right? With live polling, what's your favorite, you know, redemption option? What's your favorite tra travel destination? And you could use points for that. So um, the possibilities are really endless here. Well, in addition to thank you rewards, one of the biggest benefits, probably my, my favorite benefit that city customers have access to is the amazing new travel um, booking platform which launched last year. 70% of consumers are planning to pay for their 2024 summer travel on a credit card, so this is really meeting um, a pressing consumer demand. Um, so tell us about city travel. Yeah, so what could be more inspirational to market than travel, right? So we're so lucky to be able to add this asset to our spend engagement strategies. You know, I think we're all, we are all travel obsessed, right? I, I know for me, as I'm taking that flight back or even that car ride back, I'm already, like my mind goes to the next trip for sure. Um, so basically we've partnered with booking.com, right? To be able to pr provide to our customers access to 
1.4 million hotels and resorts. I feel like I'm reading one of our email creatives right now. <laughs> 1.4 million hotels and resorts. Um, you know, our, our customers can essentially use their city mobile app. They can search for travel, they can book the travel, they can even look at their travel itineraries all within the app. What's more, they earn accelerators when they spend at city travel, and all of those points can be used for future bookings, right? So there's a ton of potential here um, in terms of travel, uh, and we're, we're looking to do things like live polling, um, featuring live uh, weather at suggested uh, destinations, dynamic tri triggers during and after booking. Um, so really looking forward to sharing this journey in the future. And what do you do here for this Q4 promotion? Oh yes, the Q4 promotion. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> um, so what we did here was, so we, we ran a really rich promotion uh, in Q4, but it, it also carried into January. And essentially we did the famous countdown timer. <laughs> it holds up, it, <laughs> it really does, does hold no, up. it really does, <laughs> right? So we used that in the last week of the promotion and our product partners love this and we did too when we saw the results. Just that one ad, it was just amazing uh, what it could do. Well, if you can believe it or not, City Travel is just one completely new platform that Suzanne and her team launched uh, in the past year. Um, tell us about City Shop. Yes. So we are super excited, right, Bonnie, um, for our shopping browser extension. We're partnering with Wildfire for this. This is a new benefit that links back to really meeting the customer where they're already at in their shopping experience. So essentially, as the customer is engaged in online shopping, the extension searches in the background for any available city shop offers and pre presents the savings offer to the customer. So they can take advantage of the, the discount in the form of a statement credit, new in industry, by the way, um, or discounts at, at the checkout. So it's super easy and super convenient. All the customer has to do is click accept uh, to take part, so why wouldn't they? So this platform was launched in January, uh, but we actually launched the marketing in February. And as you all know, with brand new launches, right, there are challenges to push through for sure. So one was around launching the desktop browser first because the mobile browser extension was not yet ready. So we didn't want to lose two months of marketing though, and that's where Movable Inc. came to save the day. Um, with device detection, identification, and tailored messaging, we were able to embed that in our customer journey, directing the customer with a recognizable vanity URL to use from their desktop. So it's, a, it's an interesting use of Movable Inc. I would say less of a marketing play here and more of a servicing goal to provide clear and transparent messaging to our customers like, hey, right now it's only available in desktop, right? We wanted to make sure that that was clear. We also did use Movable Inc. for marketing, City Shop, uh, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, so with Movable Inc., we're able to show within our emails the logos of our customers' favorite merchants uh, who also have an updated savings offer at the same time. So we're only three months into it, so four months four months into it, uh, definitely more to come, but we're really excited. All those little details though, in the mm -hmm. launch of a new program or platform, you know, having accuracy can make just the world of difference in how customers perceive the program, if they're gonna use it. So, um, you know, it seems like a small um, thing, but it makes a huge difference yeah. in the customer experience. Absolutely. Um, Suzanne, this work is so impressive. You're covering so much ground with your team. <clears throat> um, so to round us out, how do you prioritize which initiatives to work on? And then also, how do you find inspiration for your programs. Yeah, so with spend engagement, you know, what I always try to keep in mind is this calculated balance between core strategies that I know will generate growth in revenue and sales, right, with these newer opportunities. They're not proven really, but potentially could drive longer term growth. So I think it's really important to have both, right, being able to to generate solid revenue actually gives you the freedom from the powers that be um, and the flexibility to play in this other space of innovation. Um, but if you rely only on those proven strategies, you know, you do yourself a disservice in terms of long-term growth. Um, so with every initiative, opportunity, capability, I try to keep, do that mental math and make sure that that balance is intact. And if it's not, you know, we do, we have a trade-off. And that's why, you know, our book of work today looks very different than it did a year ago Absolutely. or two years ago. But that's important, right? Constantly sort of making that calculation. Um, 
And then inspiration. Inspiration. Where are you finding? Okay. So, I inspiration. I have 47 seconds. Um, <laughs> okay. So, um, a couple of things. One thing that we do, right? So, so by the way, all of this great work that I presented is all because of my amazing team members uh, here. They make all the magic happen. And so, it's a lot, right? It's a lot of work. It's hectic. Um, so it's hard to sort of walk away from all that work, right, and take time to sort of breathe and, and be inspired. Um, but what we like to do is we like to do a two-day creative forum for our team, Spend Engagement, um, and where we gather all our team members from across the country into a room, we hide ourselves away, and you know we strategize about creative testing, we talk to leaders, we meet experts, and so I think it's become something that you know the team has really looked forward to, is looking forward to. We've, this is the third year in a row that'll, uh, that we'll do it. And then I have to mention, I know I'm out of time, but I have to mention, Take. like a few <laughs> weeks ago, a few weeks ago, um, we had an amazing city and movable ink session, right, forum, uh, yes, it was amazing, <laughs> it was so, so good, right, to be able to, again, prioritize your learning agenda, right, step out of our office, go into your beautiful office, and, you know, just work together to get inspired, get insights to work um, in breakout sessions, on challenges, so I think it was just so great, the team is still talking about it today. So I think that, and then this, last thing I'm gonna say, I promise. This, right, the Think Summit, I think is just so incredible. Uh, you know, we get to meet other people in industry, out of industry, we get to learn about new capabilities, and we get to commiserate on similar challenges. <laughs> so what could be better? So thank you, Jackie Movable Inc., for allowing all of us this collective breath to be inspired. Well, thank you for joining us today, Suzanne, and thank you, everybody. <laughs>